In this question, we are solving for x in the following triangle. When I look at this triangle, I see that I have three side lengths, 325 meters, 375 meters, and 425 meters, no angles, and we're trying to find angle x. So when I'm trying to choose a method, the first question I ask myself is, is this a right angle triangle? The answer is no. So from there, I ask myself, do I know an angle and an opposite side? Well, the only angle I even have marked is x, and I don't know what that is. So I don't know any of the angles, so the answer to that question is no. So that means we are using cosine law. Now, when I go to write down my formula for cosine law, I want to think about whether we are solving for a side or an angle. In this case, we are solving for an angle. So the version of cosine law that I'm going to use is that cosine of angle A is B squared plus C squared minus A squared divided by 2BC. Since my formula uses A's, B's, and C's, I need to label my diagram with A's, B's, and C's. So I like to take whatever it is we're solving for, in this case x, and call that a. Since this is an angle, I'm going to label it with an uppercase a, and then the side across from it is my lowercase a. Now b and c, it's your choice where you want to put them. I might put angle b on the top, which means side b is down here across from that, and then angle c is over here, and then side C would be the 375. All right, we are going to substitute in all the things that we know. So I have cosine of angle A, so cosine of X equals B, so that's 425 squared, plus C, 375 squared, minus A, 325 squared, squared, and then that is all divided by 2 times B, 425, times C, 375. Now, I recommend simplifying the numerator and then simplifying the denominator. So I am going to do 425 squared plus 375 squared, take away 325 squared, which is 215,625. Sometimes that number is negative. All right, on the bottom we have 2 times 425 times 375, and I get 318,000. 750. Okay, now all I need to do is eliminate the cosine by doing the inverse cosine of both sides. Now you could work out 215,625 divided by 318,750 first and then write that whole decimal down but I prefer not to have to write the decimal down if I don't have to. So to do this on my calculator, I need to do the fraction first. So bracket 215,625 divided by 318,750. Close my bracket and then do shift and cos. And I get 47.43. The next digit is a 1, so that is 47.43. And this is an angle, so that is measured in degrees. So my final answer is that x equals 47.43 degrees.